What's up crafters? You got Sabrina with Minecraft Spice Sabrina, where our crafts are anything but square. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the knockout method and we're going to be doing this strictly in design space. This is for desktop users as this cannot be done on the mobile device. Before we get started, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to welcome you and don't forget to like and subscribe. So first things first, let's open design space. I'm going to be making a card, so I have a rectangle that's 10 by 7. And then I'm going to use the add text to create a text box and write the word mom. I'm going to then go to my fonts and change my font to the Georgia text. In the upper right corner, you can search for the text if you already know the name. Click on your text to change it. And then I'm going to make it bold by clicking on style clicking on bold and make it bolder. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my little sizing arrow and I'm just going to drag it and make it bigger and align it on my card. Next, we'll do the next text. This time I'm going to type in the names and then go to font and change the font. I'll be using Old Julia if your font is a script and it needs to be moved closer together, then you can press the letter spacing and lower it as much as you desire. If it's still too far, then you can choose ungroup and move them manually. After it's been grouped, you can then go ahead and size it and arrange it onto your card as needed. Next, we'll create the offset. We're going to select the text and make a duplicate, and then we want to flatten that duplicate. This is going to turn this into an image. Next, we'll select Make It, and then we're going to press Continue so that we can print. Press Send to Printer, and in your printer options, you're going to select the Microsoft Print to PDF. Now yours may be a little bit different, you just want to find whatever feature you have that's for PDFs. Then select print. When you select print, it's going to save your file as a PDF. Give your file a name and then select save. Now we want to cancel out of our mat and then go ahead and select yes we want to cancel, cancel again and we're back at our mat. We're going to select our flattened image and go ahead and delete that. And then now we need to go ahead and open up that PDF that we just saved. Before doing our PDF, in your search box on your Windows screen, go ahead and search for snip. This is going to bring you a snipping tool. Then we're going to use the new and drag and drop around our image so that we can take a picture of it. It's then going to snap it into a new window and here you can use the little save icon to save this image. You're going to give it a name and then save it to a location. Back in Design Space, we're going to select Upload, and then we're going to upload in the middle and drag and drop our file. We're going to select Complex and then click Continue. And then I'm going to use my magic wand and select all the white area. If you select Preview, then you can see what it's going to look like, and then go ahead and click Continue. You want to select Save as a Cut image so that way it cuts out your image. Give it a name, tag, and save. Select your image and click insert image. Your image then appears on your canvas. You want to size and align your offset onto your background text, which in this case is mom. Then select both the text and mom and click on slice. You can also right click and click on slice. Once it's sliced, you're gonna have three extra pieces that are all negatives and you can just click on each one and delete those. 
you'll be left with your cutout and then you can take your text that's left over and then just align it in place. If you want to attach it, you can do so and then send to Matt to make it. From here, you'll go ahead and follow your prompts on the screen in your machine so that you can cut out your design. All right, crafters, that's all I have for you today. This is how you complete your knockout in design space. I want to thank you for watching, and if this was your first time to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be notified of the next tutorial.